bring an economic boost to our city that would help us as far as the income which we can have to give back to our citizens for qualities of life. And we truly believe this is one of those things that we have done. There's been a lot of work put into it. Uh, we have a great opportunity. And what I would ask that the ones that are here and the ones that you all make contact with, I would ask that you allow them and, and, and show them the excitement to buy into what we are trying to do with this event. The announcement that we have is something that we've been talking about, and I don't know how many people out there know or may have an inkling, but I do know this, and I have to say this, you know, sometime in Phoenix City you can't burp loud without anybody knowing. And I'm hoping this may have been one of those things, maybe a little inkling, but we really tried to keep it hush-hush because we wanted to make a big deal, and we do appreciate the media being here because it is a very big deal. One of the things that we're going to do and that we've already have on the table that beginning on September the 13th, we have officially landed the first inaugural Whitewater Classic football game. It's Tuskegee against Albany State that will be played at our stadium on the 13th of September. And that's something for that we all need. And the very first inaugural one, we want to be able to show you all and if, if and Todd can stand up and unveil the, the drawing of it. But this is a huge, huge announcement for Phoenix City. It is a, uh, the, the, we used to have the Stag Bowl, but we are hoping that this is something that will be perpetuated each year uh, with Tuskegee. Uh, but doesn't that look beautiful? Look at that. Right one place. And this is really huge for Phoenix City. And, and, and as I stated earlier, what I would hope and pray that you all would do is get out in this community and tell people how blessed we are to be able to have this inaugural classic. And it's something that we're hoping and praying that it, it will be perpetuated. And it is a big deal. It's going to have an economic boost. But we are so thankful to be a part of Phoenix City and to be able to do that. And with me saying that, I'm going to ask Mr. Blackshear and Mr. Day uh, to say some words, and even our city manager, if he would like to, and even Skip and Todd, if they would like to. You would like to go first, Mr. Day? Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, Mayor. Yes, sir. I'm excited about this uh, the event coming to uh, our city as well. And this is, should be excited to all the fans here in Bay City, and well as the citizen of Bay City, as the mayor stated, is this will be an economic boost here in our city on this side of the river. I know during my uh, years here in this area, I attended a, quite a, a few games over there across the river. This time, we are getting some uh, tax uh, on this side of the river, and I'm excited about that. We're looking forward to uh, our uh, friends and family coming to visit with us on the 13th of September. Thank you. And what I'd like to say is, you know, we, we went back about 12 months ago when we really talked, started talking about <clears throat> additional renovations that we needed to do with the stadium. Now, we knew what was done several years back um, took care of the deficiencies within the locker room and, and a lot of other things were handled then. But we also knew that if we were going to continue to try to have more events on a larger scale, some other things need to be addressed. And, and since we've been in office, you've seen now the artificial turf has been installed at the stadium. We've had the fencing around the stadium and the new school board and Jumbotron are going. Should be set to be delivered, I think, at the end of the month. Um, it take a couple weeks to install, so that's going to be in new sound system. All of that leads up to what we're announcing today. So I hope people are kind of starting to see more of the, the bigger vision and plan that we had. That may People that may have only been short-sighted and saw just a piece of it back 12 months ago, but you're starting to see the entire picture come to fruition now. It is going to be a major economic impact, and, and this is one of those things you hear the mayor talk about all the time. You know, we've been faced with a lot of negative things we've seen in the media and in the print over the last six to eight weeks in this community. And, and the mayor always says, he challenges people that if there's, you hear one negative, you know, you need to turn around and share ten positives. And I think this one announcement multiplies that one positive by many. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. It should be fun. Um, invite everybody from around. This is going to be an all-day event. The game's going to kick off at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's Eastern time. So plenty of time to come tailgate, to come do everything that you want to do and spend the entire day. And let's be honest, spend all your money in Phoenix City. <laughs> well, it, this is a great day for Phoenix City. I mean, it's something that is 
as I stated earlier, that would be perpetuated. We hope we can establish that relationship not only with Tuskegee but with other institutions. Mm -hmm. Because I would tell you, and all of you all know, I played sport and football all my life. And you probably tell in the way I look and how I walk around sometimes. <laughs> but in spite of that, the, the facilities that we have up here in, 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 on our stadium drive branch, it is some of the best facility even when I played, even in the pros and even in college, at some of the fields I played on in the locker room. So we certainly, as citizens of Phoenix City, have a very lot to be proud of. And we need to showcase this city. We need to showcase that stadium. And as Mr. Blackshear said, let's please give everyone something positive because this is another, another positive thing we all can put in our quivers. So we appreciate this. And I'm going to ask the city manager, do you have anything? And after that, ask Todd and Skip if they would like to say something. Yeah, and I'm, we, he's going to pull up the rib. <laughs> You're pulling up the rib, Al okay. 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 Go ahead. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council. Does anyone know, you know, every plan that you put together, you can't continue unless you have people to back you up. And I commend the um, Council for letting us continue to move forward and the progress that we are making with our Parks and Rec Director. Um, Todd Hughes and his team, Economic Development, uh, Finance Department, every, each and every last one of you all who has continued to make this city grow and add to reaching this day. I commend you all. I look at, um, talked to Todd a few years ago, and we were dreaming about what we could do and what was going to happen. And like um, Councilman Blackshear say, a lot of times you go through a lot of scrutiny when you show a plan and tell people what you plan to do. And for this to be an inaugural and to get us started off, if you want to cry, you can cry. Go ahead. <laughs> you say it's fine. You've been doing yeah, this for cry. a long time. Don't right? cry. We all need cry. to be crying. Yeah. When you that it's shows me you got a lot of heart in your job. You're a director. Exactly. You're over parks and rec. The amount of things that you're taking care of, you and your team taking care of this city, all the amenities that we have, it's a dream come true. This is something that you want to see. It shows how much heart you have in the job and your professionalism. And I'd like to thank everybody in this city that's, that's supporting us and helping us in any kind of way. I know um, Steve was disappointed that I wasn't going to Cleveland to play basketball. <laughs> so, you know, everything's going to be fine now, too. And this is a great announcement, too. It really you know. is. This is huge for I got, us. I got a year of football eligibility left for me. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to thank all you all for coming, and it's, it's been wonderful. And thank you. And the hard work will begin now. And we got a good, we got, I'm confident that we have the people that can get this done. And it's a good team that's working together. So um, it's just a joyous day. Thank you. Thanks to uh, Economic Development also. I left them on and, and I appreciate uh, City Manager reminding me. But they, they do an awesome job. And we're going to continue to push this ball down the field and, and do things that's going to be able to attract people to come to Phoenix City. Mr. Blackshear. Well, I think we want to, if Mr. Campbell wants to say something here. Yeah, we don't let him do it. Well, I was, we're going to give everybody here in the media a fact sheet, some of the information, kind of the dates and stuff. But just again, it's September 13th at 3 o'clock Eastern at Garrett Harrison Stadium. Tickets, there's going to be general admission, general seating, $20, all seats. We're not going to mark them off. It's $20. Tickets will go on sale online at exorbia.com. That's X-O-R-B-I-A.com um, beginning August the 1st. So, Buy in advance. Make sure you secure your ticket. Uh, but again, these will be available for you, all the media in the back, and hopefully they can share all that information so we can um, help get the word out to the community. All right. Now, <laughs> this is your show. You're in the hot seat. So yeah. join the club up here. Uh, I'd just like to say that we're excited about hearing uh, this relationship with Phoenix City. And I'm always proud whenever I can go and showcase uh, a Tuskegee sport, and particularly our football program. We have a very strong uh, program. We have a strong history and legacy in football and uh, look forward to playing Albany State. You know, they're, they're a team that we face often. They're a big rival and they have a great football team. So not only will it be a great thing for the city, it's going to be a great football game. So anybody that enjoys football and wants to come out and watch two talented teams play, uh, pass the word. And uh, I think somebody once said, get your popcorn, because it's going to be really a great game. And so uh, look forward to it, and look forward to doing this in the future with Phoenix. We, we I hope this is not the last, it's just the first, and look forward to 
building a much stronger relationship and having more yeah. fellowship. We believe in relationships and partnership, and that's certainly the thing. We're going to continue to push this ball, and, and uh, it's all about Phoenix City. It's not about us. It's not about any of these councils. It's all about Phoenix City, and we are grateful uh, for that. I'm sorry I keep, I, I guess it's Friday, so my uh, brain lapse is, and my thoughts are coming further apart, but I see Joe Blevins here from the school system, so Joe, take our thanks back to the school system because, you know, Central has a game that Friday night before at home, but the school system got together and Coach Dubose and his staff and decided to move the football game to Thursday uh, with absolutely no questions, no problems, nothing for to give us the ability to, and Todd and his staff to get the field ready um, for Saturday, so thanks to the school system for partnering with us on that, and I think that's what you've been talking about, Mayor, and, and, and City Manager talks about it all the time. It's not one particular department, it's the entire city coming together. And we also have already checked the schedule for the Auburn fans. There's no excuse, Auburn is off that week. There's no home game, that is the off week before they play Arkansas. Kansas State on the Thursday night, and Alabama's hosting Southern Miss at 6 o'clock that night, and the Southern Miss has been struggling, so stay here in town. Watch that on ESPN after you come to the Tuskegee Albany State game. We do want to encourage everyone to come out tailgating and all that and uh, we have a plan the economic development and the parks and rec have a plan where everybody can it can be very inclusive we're going to make it work and this is only the beginning of great things for Phoenix City and having this classic okay anything else council well I'd we like to say mayor uh, also uh, I know uh, Todd and his staff and economic development have done a great job uh, uh, you know we would like to thank the hotels that these folks will be staying in once they arrive here in Penn City, you know, participate in this project as well. And I too would like to thank Todd and his staff because they reached out to me and brought me down and uh, as you said, he's very proud of the facility. And you he showed me made. every showed me every inch of it and talked about it and all the work that went into it and did a fine job on selling me on coming here and playing this football game. Well, thank you. Good job, Todd. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into the business. Uh, we have a resolution. At this time, I'd like to call on our city clerk. Uh, read the resolution. Yes, sir. Whereas the city of Phoenix City desires to host a college football, football game at Garrett Harrison Stadium, and whereas Tuskegee University has agreed to play a home game at the stadium on September 13, 2014, and whereas the city has received a proposal from Tuskegee University for the attached contract. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the City of Phoenix City hereby authorizes the Mayor and City Manager to execute any documents needed to enter into an agreement with Tuskegee University to play a home game at Garrett Harrison Stadium. Passed, approved, and adopted this 15th day of July, 2014. Ratified this 18th day of July, 2014. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Sierra. Yes, the Council has heard the resolution. I'd like to ask for a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion, Mr. Second. Day. Second, Mr. Blackshear. Okay, call for a vote. This is here. Yes, sir. Councilmember Day? Yes. Councilmember Black. Yes. Mayor Lowe? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. If there's not anything else, please help us to enjoy this moment. And it's God will, there's going to be many, many more. Thank you all for coming, and we do stand adjourned. Thank you.